Hello, my name is Roland Reyer. I am a technical specialist for Maya at Autodesk Media Entertainment in Europe. In this short video, I'd like to give you an introduction to the use of my script Attribute Collection. Attribute Collection is part of the bonus tools. You can find it in the bonus tools windows menu. Attribute Collection lets you select a bunch of channels in the channel box and create a custom user interface for these channels. You can then rearrange these UI elements using drag and drop. You can add new elements like dividers, buttons and icons. And you can edit all elements to change the labels, slider ranges and functions. The UI will be saved in the scene and will automatically pop up when you load the file. Let's have a look at the details. First select some channels in the channel box or in the outliner. Start with a single object, later you can add more. Choose Bonus Tools, Window, Attribute Collection or simply type AC in the mail command line and hit Enter. A new panel appears. Attribute Collection creates a new collapsible group for the attributes. The group has some default buttons. Under the group you see a button that lets you add more channels to your UI. You can use the middle mouse button to drag items to a new location. All channels were added with the default labels, which is the object name and the channel name. The default name scheme is also configurable in the preferences. The group is a default layout to make things easier for you. The default buttons of the group let you set and remove keyframes, select objects, edit or delete the group. These buttons are configurable in the preferences of Attribute Collection. Right mouse button on an item gives you access to the edit window which I will talk about in the next video. The edit window is auto-saving your inputs when you hit enter. Everything is undoable. In the right mouse button menu you can also insert things to the current position. To access Maya's right mouse button menu for channels, hold the control key. For scalar channels, Attribute Collection tries to guess reasonable min and max values for the sliders. Flex and enumerate channels are recognized automatically. Compound attributes like colors are recognized when you select all components or when you select the compound. Undo is fully supported in Attribute Collection so that you can undo and redo all changes to your custom UI. The panel of Attribute Collection is part of a panel arrangement. You can tear off that panel and use it as a floating window. You can even dock the window somewhere in Maya's new workspaces. For now I recommend to use the panel arrangement or the floating window until Attribute Collection supports workspaces. If you accidentally close the panel or the window, then you can always go to Bonus Tools, Window, Attribute Collection to bring the panel back. Attribute Collection builds a network of nodes that store all settings of the UI elements. These nodes are also connected to their respective channels, so that you can even rename the objects without losing the link to the custom UI. Also, this network will be saved in the scene. When you load such a scene, a script node will rebuild the UI automatically. This was the first part of my introduction to Attribute Collection. In the second video, I'm going to talk about editing your custom UI.